welcome to my second Blender Blender tutorial series. I thought of this as the intermediate, kind of post-beginner phase, easy tutorial for people who watch my dinner scene tutorial for beginner series. Of course, if you know basic navigation and basic modeling tools already without or with watching the first series, then that's awesome because you will enjoy this new series either way. Okay, so today we will create a cake. Except today is a relative, as you will probably see this video weeks or months after I actually created this nice little cake. So I'm calling from the past to the future, telling you how to create a cake in Blender 2.8. This is with the final Blender 2.8 interface, so you should be good to go with this in the future. I don't want to call this a beginner tutorial because you will need to see my actual beginner tutorials first two episodes to be able to do this, but it's very easy, a lot easier than it seems. I'm innovating, so I'm starting with the lighting first. This isn't the final lighting, but uh, should give us nice shading and an idea of how things should look in the end. I'm using Eevee by the way, and that's how I preview this. Quickly create a cube, yes that's right. Now go into edit mode and up here. This is the tricky part, try to drag it uh, right here. I'm also in orthographic mode and looking from the top so it's easy to drag this around. Now add the subdivision modifier. Nice. Set the resolution higher. This should be good. Know that it looks like a pizza slice, or in our case a cake slice, it's time to add some edges that straightens the sides. Add two loops here with R and then here. For now, the top and bottom should be ignored. Add another set of edge loops to the sides. This should create sharp edges. First, let's correct this hard edge. We can use the edge slide with double G to correct this pointy tippy toppy. Nice. Add another set of edge loops to the size. This looks good. For now we are good. The modeling is done for today. Come over here and add the Displace modifier. Now come over here to the Texture tab and add the texture. As you notice, it added a texture for our Displace modifier and its name is on the top. It's called Displace. Let's add the basic cloud texture. But to make it look nicer, uh, we have to jump back here and bring the strength down. To correct the weird edges, we need to flip the strength to minus uh, 0.2. We will need to use this displace modifier for our coating and the cream, and I don't like to work more than I should on things, so I will go back to edit mode, use shift D to copy the top and the B to separate this and create a separate object from it. I will do the same with this side selected too for the coating. Now go back to the texture tab and add another displace modifier to our base object. Go to textures and add another texture. This is a texture for our new displace modifier, as you can see from the name on the top. Let's adjust the cloud texture and bring the strength down. If you look at a real cake, that's how it looks like, it has these hard small bumps on its side. For this to look better and more detailed, let's slowly bring up the subdivision level. 
We need to be careful or our computer will die from too many polygon disease. Now let's add another level of detail to have realistic little holes in the cake. Back to the texture tab and now try mask grave for the texture type. The type should be set like this. It's looking pretty bad actually. It's actually horrible. Sorry that you have to look at this mess. But still don't give up. We need to set this Musgrave texture to hybrid multifracture to fix this. Now we have another pattern. As you can see, this black and white texture represents the bumps in our mesh. This displacement texture controls the shape of the object and uh, with these options you can edit the texture which in return directly changes our mesh. The black and white values show the height and the blender decides how bumpy the object should be. For example if it's black and white without any grey it will look uh, spiky as hell. The holes look good. Let's increase the subdivision level. Hmm, nice, but the second layer of displacement is a bit uh, weak. And the holes are too strong. Let me try setting it up like this. Nice. Mid level changes uh, where the displacement will be compared to the basic object. I'm trying to set this up to control how big the object is. This parameter is very important for the coating and you will see why. For now I'm doing more adjustments. Now that I found the perfect settings this looks like a cake. I will sink this into the ground not too much. We want to let a little gap between this and the ground because the gaps are awesome, especially if they are at uh, nice places. Like between uh, the ground and our cake, of course. Today this is gonna be enough. We have the basic cake, in the next episode we will create the cream and the coating. We already modeled them, they are floating up in the air, so they stay tuned for the next episode, we will displace the hell out of them objects. If you found this tutorial good, make sure to subscribe and press on the little bell icon so you won't miss out the next episodes of the series. Did you know I'm on the CG Trader? And did you know I give out free models there as well? I'm making premium ones. If you want to support me, feel free to be, uh, buy some of my premium models so I can eat a hamburger, maybe a blender burger. See you guys until the next episode.